Hello, snowboarders of the internet. I'm your host, Avery Lefebvre, and this is Top Fives, the only weekly top five show in snowboarding that you really care about. Or maybe you don't. I don't know. Let the haters watch whatever they want. Anyways, in this episode, we're going to be talking about the top five Carvey Cruiser snowboards. That's right. They're not full-blown carving boards. They're a little bit better for cruising, ripping some mellow turns when you need to, or cranking it up a notch if you have to. Basically, it's not the boards I'd recommend for just going out and destroying corduroy at all times. Number five, the GNU Hyper. This C2X directional freeride beast of Blake Paul's design is one of those decks that, this is one of those decks that you don't have to be super assertive when you're carving. The magna traction grips, especially on firmer snow, you're gonna get it. But it has that power from that C2X camera profile, which lets you load up the rear foot and drive it through the car. And with it being a GNU board, it's a little more damp, so it helps absorb any of that shatter. But you'll notice that how smooth and fluid this board is from edge to edge and how you can actually just feel locked in on a carve. And with that independent camera zone, it creates just more torsional twist for you to independently steer it from your ankles. Overall, this board is just such a blast for ripping a deep hard carve on or, you know, maybe doing a pile butter or just a regular butter with. Number four, the Rome Ravine Select. Now I know what you're saying, Averin, it's a Select, which means it's the premium model, which means it's stiffer. True, it is a little bit stiffer than the regular Ravine, but what's nice about it is you've got those rods in the tail that give you just a little more power out of a turn, so when you're coming through the turn, you just feel that snap back out of it. What I really like about this board is the side cut. You can just sit on the side cut and cruise from one side of the run back to the other, back and forth. But when you need to drive your knee into the center of the board and really lay it over, you can and just leave a nice Euro carve. Plus, it's versatile enough to go hit the park if you want to or just smash pow. Number three, the Yes Optimistic. Basically, they blended the Y into the Optimistic, which gives it more torsional flex. It takes away some of the power that it had. And when you're on edge, you notice that you've lost some of that raw power, but you've gained a little more precision with your ankle steering right underfoot. And that's why it makes it more of a carvy cruiser versus just I'm gonna go out and rip hard turns type of board. Number two, the Battalion Cruiser. Basically, it's a carbonless Battalion Carver. Now, some people might be saying, but everyone, doesn't that have 3BT? Doesn't that take the edge hold away? It takes away the edge bite out at the contact points and moves it more underfoot, which helps with the ankle steering. By softening up this board, you get more ankle flexion in there, and that changes the dynamic of how it's gonna drive. Now, on ice, you might have some serious issues with it. Some of you that live on the East Coast or places that are icy will know what I'm talking about. But if you're riding like a soft groomer, slushy or snow, it grips and it holds. I do like that you get a little more stability out of that 3BT compared to other versions that they have. It's just got a wider middle platform on it. It locks in, it holds. It was a board that I got on and I was like, wow, it's still got power. It's got good snap and drive, but I don't feel like I have to bring my A game to it all the time like the Carver. Honorable mentions, all great options, but just barely didn't crack the top five of this list. The Karua Cafe Racer. The Amplid Soli Grail. The Nidecker Thruster. Like I said, all great options, but just barely didn't crack this list. And the number one resort cruisy carver board is the Nerd Superposition. Now, Nerd is a new brand coming out this year. The boards are made at GP87. My friend Jordan Zidanek is actually the guy behind the brand. I have helped work with him on various aspects of it, so I just want to be really clear about it. They have two models, the Superposition and the Relic. The Superposition is absolutely phenomenal. I got on this thing and was just laying trenches with it, getting power out of my cars, and then I could be laid back and just swoop from one side to the other. You get a urethane sidewall, which helps with the dampening. Overall, it's got a really good side cut camber profile and flex to it that all work in conjunction so that you get the most out of this board. If you're one of those guys that just wants to go slay a groomer early in the morning, then maybe go hit some side hits, smash some pow if you have to, or even go in the park. This is the board for that. 
I got on it. I didn't want to get off of it. I'm buying one. You should buy one. Everyone should buy one. In my opinion, they're just that good of boards. So why don't you go check it out if you're just looking for a board that's easy carving, but you can be aggressive with. Notice we didn't have to do any hard boot setups or any of those weird wonky ass shaped shit that's coming out there. No, these are boards for the everyman that just wants to cruise and carve. I think it's pretty solid. Anyways, do you agree with this list? Do you disagree with this list? Did I forget one on this list? Leave me a comment down below. Let's have a conversation. If you're new here, remember to subscribe, click the bell, get those notifications. That way you're not going to miss any of the videos we got coming out for all you snowboarders of the internet. And if you really like what we're doing over here and you want to support us further, swing on over to Angry Snowboarder VIP and become a member. Sure, I could tell you more here, but I got a video over there that explains it so much better. As always, I've been your host, Avery Lefebvre, and well, unless some hard booter tries to kill me, I will continue to be your host. Mm -hmm.